about some things that uh, everybody wants to know. Some of them are silly questions and some of them are a little more serious. So, Lindsay, I understand that you've had a plot in our community gardens. How long have you had one there? I started last year. I had one this year, but I gave it up so that I could participate more in the master gardener section mm -hmm. of the of the garden. And how's that working? <laughs> Fantastic. The garden's coming along really well. Everything's green and tall and beautiful, and all the people out there are just so friendly. <laughs> so what role do the master gardeners play in this process? Well, we help um, all the other gardeners who have questions about their plots, and we help them if they have different diseases or uh, funguses, you know, um, plants can get sick just like you and I can get mm -hmm. sick, and so we help them out with that, and any, any you know, random questions, really. If we don't know the answer right offhand, we find the answer. Well, that's great. So what has gardening taught you? It has taught me patience, a lot of patience, <laughs> yes, and um, to stick stick with it because uh, well last year we had a lot of rain right at first and it just was so terrible on our tomatoes and I fought fungus on my tomatoes all summer from that rain and um, it just really a lot of people wanted to give up because it was one of the hardest years we had had for gardening and um, everybody just said this was a hard year even for the masters don't give up don't give up so I didn't and um, now I've got a uh, uh, acorn squash that are like this big and I've never grown anything that big before. Wow. <laughs> so what made you decide to go from having your own plot to working with the Master Gardeners? Well, United Way got me um, involved in that. Um, Heather Heelman just uh, meant she w she had mentioned it to me while well, she had given me a ride out there one day mm -hmm. uh, when I signed up for the plot up here and I was just really interested in it and I had so much fun out there mm -hmm. that I just wanted to get more involved and I wanted to have more knowledge I wanted to be able to uh, preserve and feed my family for the year and got really into like the whole homesteading idea and uh, so Heather was like, well, we got this class, and she, United Way actually paid for it for me mm -hmm. because I'm dealing with a lot of really complicated health issues, and um, I finished the classes, and now I'm uh, helping with the boards that, the displays they put up at the, um, what's it, the Ohio State Fair, yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. It sounds like it's been a great experience, though. It has. It really has. It's taught me so much about gardening, about plants, and I've just discovered this passion in my life for gardening, and um, I'm no longer on food stamps. Just being able to not be on those and not feel guilty when I go to, you know, the, the counter to pay for my food, like, okay, oh, that's here's great. my card, you know. <laughs> oh, 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 that's really neat. Do you girls get to go to the gardens also? Mm -hmm. Do you help your mom? Yeah. Do you get help too, Morgan? What do you like, JC? Um, I like the squash. The squash? And Ooh. the cucumbers. Ooh, mm. Me too. How about and you? The tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, tell me, if you got up tomorrow and you found a million dollars in your checking account, what would you do with it? Give it away. <laughs> no. I've always said that I would not ever be rich for long. There's just too many organizations that I want to pay back. There's too many people in my world that I would love to help. You know, I'd be one of those people like, you know, who would pick random people to just pay off their mortgage, you know? That's cool. That's really I, my, my biggest dream is to have enough money to donate to um, like Hope House or any other organizations like that, uh, fishing poles, tackle, seeds, gardening tools, you know, you, sure. you feed a man for a day, he, he eats for a day, but if you teach him to fish, you teach him to garden, they're going to eat forever. It's like United Way yeah. paid for me to go to um, the preservation classes mm -hmm. for, through the Ohio State Extension Office. And uh, now I have food in the wintertime. It doesn't just have to be in the spring. I know how to save my food. And wow. it's just, I feel so much more independent now. It that gave me great. a sense of, of accomplishment and independence that I never had before. What uh, agencies do you know that uh, United Way funds and are familiar with? 
uh, I think preschools. You guys help mm -hmm. the preschools, right? Yeah. I saw a United Way picture. Like every time I walk into a building and I see the United Way poster, I'm just like, oh, this is a good, this is a good organization. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. So tell me, what are your um, favorite meals to prepare and why? I like making homemade pizza. It, yeah, because you just the dough, any stress in your life, you beat it out in the dough. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, in my former life, I was in the pizza business. Really? Before I got into the nonprofit world, I uh, I owned a restaurant called The Rocking You for 29 years. 29 yeah. years? So wow. I'm surprised I, that you don't I, still I, smell I, like I'm, pizza. I'm, I'm, a, yeah, <laughs> I'm still a pizza guy deep at heart, too. So. Yeah, I like <laughs> making my own tomato sauce and just that's something that. I, as a child, I did with my mom, even though it was from a box when mm -hmm. I was younger. Sure. But for me, it's like passing on a tradition, but also like adding to that tradition by making it homemade, mm -hmm. making it healthier. And she is realizing, you know, how important it is to cook your own foods because she sees how sick boxed food makes me. And so it's just, you know, it's a gift. It's a gift not only for me, but for my kids, too. Oh, that's great. So yeah. what's the funniest thing that's happened to you recently? The funniest thing that's happened to me recently. <laughs> I had a baby goat born July 5th. Wow. That, that wasn't funny, but it was like, I, it was just a blessing. It oh, was that's the great. first birth I ever and saw. Name. Mini boom and I'm growing their food. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. What I grow my guinea pigs' food. What, what was your goat's name? Mini boom boom. What was your mini boom boom? Yeah. Mini boom boom. Wow. <laughs> mini pooper. And, and mini pooper. Yeah, we call her mini pooper too. <laughs> do you do a compost? I do. I, I figured you probably would. Yep. So that's yep. neat. That's and it neat. doesn't even smell. It's so oh. healthy. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, how would the world be different, you answer this too, if animals could talk? I think people would be kinder to animals. So I don't think anybody would be eating something that talked to them. <laughs> think, Please don't kill me! I think, I think Spoken most Spoken by us... a true vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw a talking dog, I would freak out because I, didn't, I wouldn't know if it was going to growl at me or if it was going to hurt me. He'd or say, sing you a song. Yeah. yeah. That'd be creepy. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really appreciate appreciate you coming in today. I really appreciate United Way. Well, they have great. just changed our lives for the better. That's I mean, great. we went from a place of just despair and I mean I came from, from open arms. And I mean we just we went from the bottom to the top because of United Way. Well, I, I just feel so much better about myself, too. You know, it gave me a sense of, of self-esteem. I can do this. I can do this. And that's all because of you guys. You guys well, just you. helping hand. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. that. That's great. I'm yes. glad that things are going well for you. If so, we had a studio audience right now, we'd be clapping. Yay! <laughs>